German government prepared a special plan for preparing for war with Russia. The German government has developed a special plan in case of war with Russia. According to the German press, the population is being urged to prepare for universal military and labor conscription as well as the introduction of food standards. The German people continue to prepare for a potential war with Russia, presenting it as an aggressor. The country's authorities have already developed a plan in the event of a large-scale military conflict, warning the population about the possible consequences of the war and the measures that will be taken. So, if the Russian army attacks Germany, then a special regime is introduced on the territory of the country, compulsory military service for young people returns, as well as centralized food distribution system following the example of World War II. All products are requisitioned, stocks are transferred to secret places. An emergency reserve will be created, which will provide the population of cities with one hot lunch per day. All adult citizens of the country will be assigned to certain jobs, including in hospitals, factories, etc. Production will be repurposed for the production of military products and medical institutions must be prepared for an influx of large numbers of wounded. Citizens of the eastern regions of the country must have all documents and things with them for urgent evacuation. Since the Bundeswehr alone cannot cope with the Russian army, it is necessary to be prepared that many American and European military personnel will appear in the country who will follow the eastern borders through the entire territory along public roads. Naturally, the government and the Bundestag are not dissolved. Let us recall that the head of the German military department, Boris Pistorius, called on the Germans to prepare for war with Russia as early as 2029. Due to Russian aggression, we have completely changed the security situation in Europe, first and foremost among our Eastern EU and NATO partners, such as in the Baltic states, but also due to hybrid threats such as cyber attacks, espionage and disinformation here, he said. There is information about the withdrawal of the 1009th Motorized Rifle Regiment of the Russian Armed Forces from near Volchensk due to significant losses. It is reported that the regiment lost 90% of its personnel and also included Wagner soldiers who refused to storm Volchensk without the support of equipment. A video of a contract soldier from this regiment also appeared on the internet, who says that complete meat is happening in that direction and out of his company of 100 people, 12 remained alive. Russian soldiers fighting against the cross-border incursion are complaining that they are being slaughtered and entire regiments have been lost. They blame bad leadership, inadequate equipment, lack of artillery support and no reinforcements. Soldiers Sao, we are under constant shelling, officers, ordinary soldiers and above all the people who have families and all their relatives at home are being killed and heavy equipment and reinforcements are out of the question. Near Volchensk, the Ukrainian armed forces captured about 60 Russians. This was announced by the Speaker Operational and Strategic Group of Troops, Kortitsia Nazar Volishin. The event happened on Sunday, June 2nd, on the same day Volishin reported that Ukrainian units control most of the city, about 70%, and there are fierce battles in the city and in the surrounding area. The Ukrainian armed forces managed to stabilize the situation in the Kharkiv direction. And although the enemy is trying to find an opportunity to gain a foothold in Volchensk, up to 70% of the city is now controlled by Ukrainian defenders, he added. Also, according to him, the enemy is trying to support assault groups by maneuvering reserves. There is information about the movement of enemy units belonging to the 44th and 11th Army Corps which the enemy is trying to attract to conduct combat operations. But the enemy does not yet have enough forces to attack. He added that the Ukrainian armed forces control the actions of the enemy and do not allow him to advance or gain a foothold in Volchensk. According to him, at the moment more than 70% of Volchensk is left under the control of the armed forces of Ukraine. Street fighting continues, the Russians are trying to move in small groups to gain a foothold in the territory, but they are not successful.